this is causing a sensation on the end. Polycarbonate stainless steel. You're not going to break it. It's very tough. It's what the big riot shield's out of. It's bulletproof. You've got that needle running all the way through the inside. You're not going to jab yourself or anybody else. But watch this. Just push that down through into the core. Now, there's no batteries, no electricity needed. So in the event of a power outage or zombie apocalypse, it's better to be safe than sober. Oh, yes, so we still have our wine. <laughs> now, grab it by the ring and the wings and the cork slides right up. But if anybody in your family has trouble opening wine, well, guess what? No more pulling and twisting, arthritis, bursitis, or lazyitis. All we do is put hands to the bottom. One-handed, left-handed, right-handed, makes no difference. Now, the best part about this is no more broken cores. It's never the cheap wine you break the cork on. It's always that cork you've been saving for a special occasion. Yeah, because if you store your wine like that, that cork becomes dry and brittle. So you pull out that beautiful bottle of wine for your anniversary, you break the cork, you end up with tense, nervous headache, backache. Why did I marry you? Why did I listen to my mother? This could save your marriage. Now, watch this. Now, once you've opened that wine, you know you're supposed to let that breathe. 10 minutes in the glass, 30 minutes in the bottle. Ain't nobody got time for that. My wife calls it giving it mouth to mouth. Yeah, yeah. Terrible. Wow. <laughs> anyway, look at this. This is my triple chamber tumbler Venturi aerator. From the bottle to the glass, you're aerating immediately. It's opening up the wine, releasing all the soft fruit tones. But the best part is you're releasing the sulfites. The sulfites, that's what gives you that big red wine hangover in the morning. So, no hangovers, more drinking, more drinking, more fun. It's the future. <laughs> Now, if you have any leftover wine, and don't get me wrong, if you can't finish your bottle, we can't be friends, but you might be slowing down on your third or your fourth. <laughs> now, my wife would always keep a bottle in the fridge just for cooking. Sometimes she would even put in the food. But like, instead of jamming the cork back in the bottle, all you're doing is trapping the air inside of it. What that does now is it's going to oxidize your leftover wine. So, that beautiful bottle of wine you had last night, you'll go back the next night, that's now going to taste like vinegar. So, this is a lifesaver for a wine saver. This little guy here, watch this. Pop that in the button pusher. Give that a few pumps in the bottle like that. What it does, it takes all of the air right out of it. When it snaps closed, that's now vacuum sealed. You can store it on its side of the fridge, something like drip, drip, or leak. It'll fit in an 18 inch wine fridge. Instead of lasting two to three days, that's now put in the fridge for cooking with for two to three weeks. And the very last thing to show you, and you're going to love this. Uh, this, uh, we have one here. Oh, this little guy here. Keep that in the freezer, okay? What that's going to do, it has an oil core running all the way through the inside. It stays cold for a very long time. When you're ready to make some bad decisions, just drop that in your favorite bottle of white. It's going to chill that bottle in under 10 minutes. It keeps that bottle ice cold for up to an hour. You pour your wine directly through the chill stick. If you really want to get that party started, try dropping that into a bottle of tequila. Stand back and watch what happens. I've been no responsibility for your actions. Now, we've got a fantastic deal here today. Don't miss out on it. This set here is already sold in just three months, purely on Facebook and Google advertising, over 100,000 units. Don't miss out. It's hot right now. We have three sets. We have one which retails for 